Today is finally the day. I'm doing the nursery reveal today. I am so excited. I have been like dreaming up this nursery in my head for what seems like a really, really long time now. And it's just funny how when you're first pregnant, just the thought of a nursery is just so far away. And I can't believe like the day has finally come where I have found all the pieces that I was looking for and envisioning and pulled everything together and it's just, it's all in there, it's ready to go. So let's go take a look. Okay, let me show you around the room. Here is the crib area, and I'm so happy with how this turned out. Originally, the crib was gonna be centered on this wall, but then we wouldn't have had a good space for the chair with the table and everything. So the crib is in its own little corner now, which I'm actually really happy about because it's like really cozy. And we got this crib from Wayfair. And one of my favorite things in here is this pillow. It's one of the things that I saw actually like way, way back when I thought of creating the nursery. And so I'm so happy it arrived just in time for the reveal. And it's super cute because one side is sleeping and one side is awake. So I put the little sleeping side in the crib. I am obsessed also with this ice cream mobile for anyone who knows me and my obsession with sweets and being a pastry chef. I thought this was super super fitting. I hope my baby girl likes dessert as much as I do. So for the artwork I did the little print of the little blue jay watching over the crib and I mentioned this earlier in one of my other videos when I bought this print that this is in memory of my grandfather who passed away before he even knew that I was pregnant and so I'm really happy to incorporate his memory into my baby girl's nursery. And then the two prints here, these are actually postcards. You'll see that I've decorated a lot with postcards in the room. I think that really pretty postcards are amazing to frame because first of all, they're sentimental. It means you got them somewhere from your travels and adventures. And if you find ones that you really, really like, to me, they look like little pieces of artwork. So this one I got when I was living in Strasbourg and this one I got when I was living in Paris. So I'm really happy to incorporate the two places that I lived with and had just like amazing memories into her room. So this is where I'm gonna be spending a lot of time in this nursery. We got this beautiful rocking chair from Structube and I love how cozy the material is and um, it's not too bulky and big, so it fits really nicely in the space and it is actually so, so comfortable. So I definitely imagine myself spending a lot of time in this chair, so I want it to be super, super comfortable. And then we hung this beautiful, like dream catcher kind of woven artwork on the wall, which I think is just so nice and softens the room. So then I incorporated this piece of artwork, which you've already seen in another video. And I just love the way the colors brighten up the room and it's very summery. So I was actually thinking that come fall and winter, I could actually just easily switch out this piece of artwork for something a little bit more seasonally appropriate. So I think it's a great thing to kind of note that if there's something that you really, really love like this, don't be afraid to still include it in your room if it's like an accessory that you can easily switch out depending on the season. So this is my one item in the room that I feel like it's just gonna kind of look out of place in the fall, winter time. But for spring, summer, I think it just is such a bright and fun thing in the room. And then for me, having this table in this room was like an absolute must. So I actually had a few people recommend me have like a little area in the room that I could definitely put a lot of things on just because I'm going to be literally living in this chair for a while. So it's nice to have this space to work with and know that I'll be able to put my stuff on it um, and have everything that I need really close by. 
And one of my other favorite pieces in the room, I mean, I feel like every piece is my favorite, but I'm obsessed with this like faux suede ottoman and the color is just perfect for the room. And my favorite part is that it's full of storage space so I can keep things in there as well. And I think it's a good place to store my snacks for now. And uh, I'm pretty sure my dog won't be able to get in here. So I think it's a good little hiding spot for me. <laughs> And here is the changing area in the room as well as our little display shelf which I'm so happy how it turned out we painted it white and it just fits perfectly in the room and I just love this dresser the fact that the height was just perfect for being a change table and as well I just love the length of it because half of the table can be the change table but then we still have this little area here to display some things and a really really cool thing that um, I found on Amazon was this nightlight and what I love is that you can just charge it with a USB and then it just has like no cord so it just sits here in the corner and I wanted it to be right when you walk in the room because then you can literally just tap it on and it has three different um, settings but what's really awesome is that the first initial setting is like the dimmest of them all and it's just like a really soft glow so it's going to be really perfect for when I have to come in here for like night feeds and I can just tap this on and not have to turn on a really bright light and uh, yeah I'm so excited and it looks like the moon which is really cool and I like that when it's turned off it just kind of blends into the decor of the room and so I'm really really happy with this purchase. And I just want to show you guys because I'm just so excited with like organizing stuff. So on this side of the dresser, the top drawer is like all of the little accessories, bibs and hats and shoes, well, booties and socks. And these are actually her little onesies in four different sizes. And I'm going to use these for her monthly um, like growth update photos. So those are kept up here. Then we have all of her hats and um, headband accessories. And then these are all of her zero to three months clothing, as well as sleeping gowns, which will fit for longer. And then finally, this is like everything else. So it's like three to six months onesies, as well as some things for when she does get older. Then here, just below our change pad, I've got kind of all the changing accessories. So for the first few months, we're gonna be using these disposable diapers. So that's all stocked up. And then it's just like the wipes and anything else for her like toiletries. And then below here, we've got all of her swaddles. So we have the swaddles for the summertime, for the winter time, some extra bedding, some burp cloths, some change um, pads to put on top of this cover. And then once we do transition to the cloth diapers, all the diapers are here with the pads here as well. And this is just some extra diapers for the beginning. And for now we are storing her beautiful bassinet in her room. So we're still a little undecided whether we're gonna have her sleeping in our room for the first few nights or what we're gonna do with this bassinet. So if it does eventually go into our room, then um, we're going to just put some baskets here. So I'll just show you what that looks like right now. So these are the little baskets that will go here and they're great storage. For now we've got these two bears living in them and they're from Winners and Home Sense, and they're just like my favorite things ever. Well, 
Well, that's it, guys. That is my baby girl's nursery. I uh, I hope she likes what I did with the room. And uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm so excited for her to see it, for her to be here in it. And I can't wait to start using it. And um, thank you so much for watching and following along this little uh, nursery journey of mine. It was so, so fun to create. Um, so if you guys enjoyed it as well, be sure to give this video a like. And I would love to hear from you guys. So let me know in the comments what you guys think of the room and the finished product and if you haven't done so already I would love for you to subscribe to my channel and ring the notification bell so you know when my next video is out and yeah thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video bye